I wanted to comment on something, uh, Daniel 11th chapter, verse 14. It says, Also the robbers of thy people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision, the vision, but they shall fall. Now, to me, that always meant that the, the robbers of thy people, speaking about the Jews, the unfaithful Jews, who wanted to, uh, during the Crusades, they wanted to take Jerusalem. But I was so well, wait a minute now. But the Crusades was led by the Catholic Church, wasn't it? And by the Knights Templar who worked for the Catholic Church. Well, you know what? I always thought to myself, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it anyway. I believe that the Jews were behind that. I didn't know why, but I always thought, well, I, they got they got to be, because it says the robbers of thy people shall seek to establish the vision. And that's the vision they've always had, is to become the rulers of the world, you know, to take the inheritance of Jesus Christ, kill him and take the, his inheritance, you know, and to rule from Jerusalem as Satan's plan is, to sit in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So that it says, The robbers of thy people shall seek to establish the vision, but they shall fall. Well, that's what happened during the Crusades. They, didn't, they couldn't keep Jerusalem, but they were kicked out, you know. But you know what? Just recently, I got some new information. And it turns out, that the, the Knights Templar was actually started by, by nine Jewish men. They had secrets that was passed down from generation to generation about treasures that were buried in the city of Jerusalem. And that was one of the reasons why they went there. And they found those treasures, treasures and they became rich. In fact, the Jews were the... the the, these Jewish Knights Templar were the first ones to start the international banking system that was later uh, taken over by Rothschilds. But this is where it started. This is factual now. I found facts on it. And also, those original Knights Templar, they were all so called. I don't have it on. I don't have it right in front of me. But I found it the other day, and then I tried to find it again. It wasn't right there. But it was in Latin, something like the Sons of Zion. That was their name, you see. So they tried to establish that vision of taking Jerusalem. So it's, it's just amazing how the scriptures always uh, come out to be true. And did you know that the the early Bible students, uh, C.T. Russell and the Bible students, they all believed that Zion and the Jews returning to Zion was the beginning of the kingdom of God being built. Were you aware of that? They all believed that. And in, in when Rutherford came in, he also believed that until the 1930s, and then he changed it. And he says those deplorable people, they could never have uh, God could have never could never have chosen them to be the the leaders of this new earth, you know, New Jerusalem. But Pastor Russell said, "All hail to New Jerusalem," you know. So this is stuff that was a little bit secretive, you know, just like the Masonic doctrine but that's how it is you look on the dollar bill that star of david is above the american eagle and on the other side of that dollar bill you have that seeing eye and that small period pyramid which is the capstone of that pyramid or the cornerstone and the jews always believed that they are the cornerstone not jesus christ the stone that the builders rejected that's jesus christ has become the chief cornerstone and so it's very interesting. And um, so anyway, uh, Rutherford uh, changed that. But um, it's very interesting that, uh, you know, all this stuff is coming out. And uh, YouTube, I guess, didn't, doesn't want me to say this. But this was the, the, uh, the plan of the Kabbalah Jews is that uh, they could not do it before when the Catholic Church was strong. But since the, they brought down the Catholic Church by infiltration, they claim they would do it through infiltration and putting pedophiles and things in there. They've they've uh, de destroyed their image, you know. And now the Pope is, uh, is all together with the New World Order. You know, he's all a part of it now. Before the Catholic Church withstood it, even though their power was sapped, the Reformation was done according to the Jews by them, their agents. Um, 
uh, forgot the name. Some of them, I'll, I'll dig it up and put it down below in the comment uh, or in the description. Um, this is just factual stuff. This is nothing about hate speech. It's trying to keep people aware so they can keep their life, so they don't worship the beast and the image of the beast and take the mark. Just so you are prepared and ready, at least mentally, so you don't run into confusion. This is not the thing about hate. This is about love for God's people. Satan hates God, and Satan hates God's people. And he wants them to die like he's going to die, you see. That's why he wants to keep the truth from you. It has nothing to do with hate. It has to do with love. God is love. He cannot lie. He wants you to know the truth. And so anyway, this was all kept kind of a hush-hush in the Watchtower Society. And um, uh, Russell actually called, said Jehovah was the Grand Master, you know. So that's where... Uh, Franz, I guess, who translated the New World Translation later on, also said Jehovah was the Grand Master. So, you know, I don't think the Freemasonry ever left that religion, you know. But a lot of what they do is theater, just to give an impression to certain people. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's done on the Internet that's just for theater, and it's just for effect, and it's just for deception. In fact, I knew right away a long time ago when a lot of this anti-JW stuff came out, I knew that they were just plants there because they were so ridiculous, you know, like this guy that, you know, was uh, criticizing Jehovah's Witnesses for condemning homosexuality. I mean, that's in the Bible. It's like going to a meat shop and say, hey, why do you got these uh, sides of beef in here? You know, and that's what this cool, this creep was was doing, you know. So there's a lot of plants. He even said this, this guy, this one particular guy, he even said, he even told somebody that he actually was working undercover for the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses. He told uh, Darrow Wheel, Wheelberg that, wrote him a letter, and Darrow had it on his video, you know. Um, I knew that for a long time. I knew that the, the, the internet is full of plants. And what they do is they try to try to make try to represent the apostates as something that that are ungodly, God-hating uh, people, so that people will go out there and look and get scared and run back to the watchtower. That's what is meant by their guardian of doctrine doctrine, you know. So nobody can have the truth except them, you know. So that's why they bury people like me. Who's trying to give you the truth? That's why uh, this other guy came in and took a lot of my stuff, and still is sort of a quasi watchtower guy. They don't want they 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 guard the doctrine as it stops with them, you know. But uh, even with the internet, they have all those plants in there to make people turn back to the watchtower. You know, you you listen to these jack these jerks and people want to go back to the watchtower because these people are so ungodly and so ridiculous and some of the things that they say they're so unknowledgeable because they're plants they're not spiritual people you know it's just amazing i mean you either got to be a fool or you just don't care to 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 believe some of the interpretations the watchtower gives for Bible prophecy, you know, you just got to be completely, your mind has got to be on the things of the world, or, you know, you just really don't care to dig into finding out what the mark of the beast is, you know, and, because uh, Watchtower's not giving you any information about that, but it says all those that take you the mark of the beast are going to perish eternally. Not one of them has their name written in the book of life, in the book of life. Why isn't Watchtower letting you know about this? They don't care. They want to suck you into it, you know. That's why they say that they're going to build houses for the resurrected ones. When the Bible says then they're not, you're not going to build in someone else's occupancy. But they have a new world order that they're forming. That's why they have the suits and the ties. That's why they shave their, they cut their hair like uh, pagans, you know, and they shave their faces. That's all pagan. <sighs> They dress like who they are. They dress like who they want to be. 
They don't want to be Jesus Christ. They want to be part of the, the establishment of this world, of this system. They try to brainwash people. They rob you. That's what they do. They make merchandise of you. And it's become so obvious. Only the, the, the most trusting fool will fall for it. I mean, I'm sorry. But there are some people that are so dedicated and so scared that God is going to destroy them that they don't even want to consider it. You know, they've been brainwashed that heavily. But anyway, um, the pressure mounts, you know. It's like if you keep blowing up a balloon. I mean, it'll contain that air. It'll expand, you know. Good-hearted people, righteous people who love God will expand. They'll give you this. They'll give you that. So, okay, sure. We know those things aren't in the Bible. We'll, we'll do them because they don't conflict with God's rule, they think. But they do, you see, because God, Jesus says, don't teach commandments of men for doctrines. That's the Pharisees' way. And it just gets to the point where there's so many things that the b balloon bursts. And they want it to burst anyway, you see. Because that's their religion. They built that religion. And they want to destroy all faith in God. And they know that there are a lot of good-hearted, righteous Jehovah's Witnesses who have their faith in Jehovah, in the God of the Holy Bible, God above. Righteous-hearted people. I've met lots of them. And they're good-hearted people. They love God. They don't know nothing about what's happening at the top. All the masonry and all this other baloney. That's why there's pedophiles in there. Because that's a Masonic doctrine. Destroy life and Satan rewards you. Destroy innocent life. It's disgusting. Yes, it is. But that's their, that's their uh, doctrine. And a lot of these good-hearted Jehovah's Witnesses, I've talked to them, and they love righteousness. And some of the things that are going on just making them dizzy. They're walking around in circles and say, what is happening? What is going on? Where do we go? What's going on? You see, so when the, that's why the truth has to be revealed. And that's why the devil fights so hard against me to give light to the people. But they have to search for it. They can't be content with no information about the, the beast and the image of the beast and the worshiping the beast and the mark of the beast. They're not content with the watchtower telling them that you're not going to understand what we're telling you to do, but you just got to do it anyway. They're not content with that. That makes them feel lost. They don't know what's going on. They need help. And the watchtower doesn't want to help them. And the internet doesn't want to help them. But I'm trying to reach them, you know. And the Watchtower came out with an article one time. Oh, we're not Zionists. Jehovah's Witnesses are not Zionists. Yes, Pastor Russell was a Zionist. They admit that. But not them. They're not Zionists. Well, though they, they don't publicly espouse that view. But they do. Those at the top still follow Russell's basic doctrines which is a Masonic doctrine, that there's going to be a worldwide revolution, and out of the flames shall emerge the new world order. That's Masonic, that's in a Masonic hymn. I'll write it down for you in the description below. That's what their belief is. That's what Russell's belief was. Nothing about Jesus. Oh, that's all invisible. You're not going to see Jesus Christ, where even though the Bible says, every eye shall see him. Russell, no, 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 no. Because they don't believe. And the watch cow can say they're not Zionists. Why don't they say they're not Freemasons? I haven't heard them come out and say that. Funny, isn't it? They're not Zionists, but they're not going to say, they're not going to deny that they're Freemasons. And they're not going to criticize Freemasons, even though it's commonly known all the secrecy that goes on, all the devil worship. I'm not saying this. This is what I learned from the internet. Don't remove my videos for what I've learned, what you've taught me, YouTube, from the other videos, you know. 
So we definitely have a great awakening in the future. A great light that's going to enlighten people and going to move them. They have to go somewhere. They have to go in some direction. Definitely, that's what's going on in the future.